good ignitions what's good thank you guys for joining me in today's video if you guys are new here my name is santos if you guys are returning subscribers what's good fam thank you guys for the continued support and welcome back to another video so in today's video guys i have a summer foundation routine for you guys y'all summertime is fastly approaching here in new york and if you guys have ever been to New York in the summertime, you guys can attest to the scorching humidity and heat that is that comes from the sun in New York. It is the nastiest kind of feeling ever. So in today's video, guys, we are going to be focusing on products that are going to outlast in a harsh environment. So that's whether it is humid, whether it is um, perspiration, whether it's super, super greasy skin, this foundation routine is going to outlast all of that. So in today's video, I also went to ahead and showed you guys how to create these beautiful freckles. Um, I love freckles in the summertime. Not only do they create the illusion of a flatter surface skin, that's just a pro tip. If you guys utilize this kind of technique where you put a lot of the freckles in the center of the skin, if you have texturized skin or any kind of scarring in the skin, it literally makes the skin look very flat and you look a lot younger. So that's just a pro tip. So if you guys want to learn how to do this technique, definitely stay tuned for the tutorial portion of this video. Um, I do always, this is definitely a signature Santos look I love freckles I find beauty and things that people typically don't find beauty in and I know that a lot of my freckle people um, do not like their freckles but I think that freckles are gorgeous if you guys have natural freckles and you guys are subscribed to the channel you are beautiful and I absolutely am jelly of you guys having freckles again I do think that freckles adding freckles to your foundation definitely really enhances that skin like natural no makeup makeup kind of wear um, of course me I'm extra so when I do kind of do techniques like this um, I like to utilize a lot of shine so that way I mean it's summer summer skin is supposed to be glowy it's supposed to be sexy you know what I'm saying so definitely bring on the shine but the shine in places because we don't want to look oily so if you guys want to see all of the products that I use to get this outlasting summer foundation routine, stay tuned for the tutorial portion of this video. If you guys are enjoying my content, don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the Ignitions family if you guys aren't already. Don't forget to spread the word on your new favorite influencer. And without further ado, guys, enjoy the tutorial and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later. What's good y'all? You guys already know, jumping right into voiceover. So let's get to priming. So jumping right into our Pixi Vita C Priming Oil. If you guys have never tried this oil, y'all are missing out. This is the best priming oil on the market. I love, love, love this product. You guys know I use this in all of my videos and I have to report that this is definitely one for the collection. So stop playing. It gives a gorgeous hydration to the skin as well as a glow. And you guys know that I double prime most of all of my videos. So I am going to go ahead and jump into the one size, secure the blur makeup magnet primer and I'm going to go ahead and just take a little bit of this on my cheeks and around my forehead I don't overly use this product because it can dry my skin out but I just put enough so I can really just press it into the pores so it can go ahead and start to blur out the pores so what I love about this combo is that it not only gives me a beautiful glow but it also blurs out my skin so jumping right into color corrector if you guys are OGs of the channel you guys know I love and live by this color corrector this is the Lancome Taint Idol color corrector in the color peach I love love this product I am gonna go ahead and blend this out with my Sonia Keshek beauty sponge and I'm gonna go ahead and just literally just tap it so it's blended out to perfection y'all I'm gonna give you guys a side-by-side -side and you guys will see how beautiful this covers up any kind of discoloration it really just blanks out the skin so whatever you put on top goes on true to color all right guys let's jump right into our featured foundation we are going to use the one size turn up the base BBB cream I love to apply this with a brush but let me tell you guys I love the way that this smooths out your skin I am gonna give you guys a close-up look of my skin no filter on this camera this really is gonna show off the actual claims of blurring and guys not only does this foundation blur it holds up through extreme climate as well as through long day if you guys are looking for an extreme wear foundation definitely highly recommend this foundation shout outs to one side all right guys let's jump right into concealer we are going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury magic away concealer if you guys are new here guys this is one for the collection this 
this is a baddie concealer this concealer is fire and definitely is my number one at the moment love 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 it all right guys so jumping right into the one size ultimate setting powder we are going to go ahead and set our concealer with this i am going to use a powder puff to go ahead and set and then we are going to go jump right into the turn up the base powder foundation and i am going to just put that right into our skin so when i do apply this i do like to pat it onto the skin instead of just like dusting it this technique is going to give you the ultimate blur in your skin and you are going to look like a baby's bottom all right guys so jumping right into the bronzer we are going to use the one size made for shades bronzing is scope trio now i'm going to use this trio all over my face pretty much so we're going to start off with i call it the band-aid <laughs> the band-aid technique so you're just going to go ahead and put bronzer right in the center of the nose so it should look like a burnt mark on the face um, and then we're going to go ahead and shade out the actual cheeks now the reason why i'm going ahead and doing that like band-aid method across the nose is because we want to add a depth to the freckles so we are doing freckles in today's video so i definitely want to lay down a base so that way the freckles look as natural as possible so i'm also going to take the bronzer and just go ahead and sculpt out my eyes so i'm going to just run this in my crease i'm also going to create the illusion of a pinched nose by bringing the bronzer all the way into on where my tear duct is all right guys, so we're gonna jump into a dimensional highlight in today's video. So I am gonna lay down the cream color base in the color Hush. You guys know I'm obsessed with this product. I love and live by this product. We're gonna go ahead and lay this down as the initial base and we'll come back to highlighting later. All right guys, so let's get into creating those freckles. So we are going to take Freck Beauty, Freck OG, the original freckles. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this product and just put it all over where I put that band-aid shadowing at. So I'm gonna go ahead and just dab this where pretty much across my face and I also like to take this in different places now in this video I only concentrated across the, the, the cheek as well as um in the inner portion of my eye just to add a little bit of cohesiveness um, to the actual look and what I also like to do is take my tarantula fingers and I, I like to go ahead and blend certain spots so the spots that you do blend are lighter and the ones that you don't are um, darker so it adds dimension and depth to the freckles and I am going to give you guys a close-up here you guys can see how beautiful and natural the actual freckles look and also this is a tip for anybody that has textured skin or acne scars if you go ahead and do this look guys it's going to make your skin appear very smooth and flat to the surface and i'm telling you guys i've done this on a lot of clients and they love it so just saying it's bomb anyway getting into highlighter guys we are going to use the mac cosmetics highlighter and whisper of guilt now when i do use freckles guys i do overly highlight like it's 2015 um so that way there's a balance to the face and that way it doesn't look crazy if that makes sense but if you guys see or wait till the end you guys will see everything will make sense all right guys so jumping right into the p louise eyeshadow base in rumor zero we are going to put a little bit of this right in our inner tear duct as a base and now i'm going to go ahead and take my og palette from mac these colors are rice paper and nylon if you know you know if you guys are looking for a popping inner tear duct highlight this is the combo to get it always delivers and it gives you that airbrush look to the eye period all right guys we're using a lot of mac products in today's video fun fact guys if you guys didn't know i work for mac cosmetics for seven years of my career um definitely fun times i miss mac so much um so jumping right into mascara we are going to use the fall slash mascara from mac this product is discontinued but this is one of my favorite mascaras that has ever been on the market one of the best look at the lash that it creates it's just such a wispy and fluffy lash that i just adore all right guys so moving on to lips we are going to be using the abh lip liner in cool brown uh, so i am going to go ahead and line my lips both top and bottom i do overdraw my lips because my lips are uneven and they of course are very small so i like to go ahead and add that fullness and that symmetry to the lip always all right guys so moving on to lipstick we are going to use the artist couture uh, in angel baby this is the lightest nude that he does offer his lineup and i love his cream silk lipsticks the formula is bomb and there i don't see people talking about his lipstick formula his lipstick formula is lit if you've never tried any of the artist couture lip products you guys are missing out and i wish he did have more colors because his his formula is bomb i'm not gonna hold you it's bomb <laughs> anyway shout outs to artist couture i love your products i don't know about none of y'all but i love them <laughs> all right guys and moving on to lip gloss we are going to use the artist couture lip gloss in uncensored 2.0 this is the most beautiful 
cool tone nude I've ever had and owned and I love the look, it's bomb. And of course to finish off our face, we are going to set our face with the coconut Fix Plus from MAC. And uh, guys, I got my diva fan. You can't tell me nothing. <laughs> I'm an official beauty influencer. Yay. <laughs> nah, I hope you guys enjoyed this summer proof makeup tutorial. I hope you take some tips. If you guys utilize any of them, please tag me on my IG. If you haven't already hit that like button, go ahead and smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the Ignitions family. And you guys know I will catch you guys in the next one. <laughs> Later.